He actually has four hand traps against me. Two Bistials, Maxi, and Ash Blossom. Won't be enough, my friend. Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy, Trey. For today's video, I'm going to do a full-fledged best guide for Pendulums in Yu-Gi-Oh! Acidol. Make sure to watch this whole video. I'm going to be showing seven to eight different replays on how to play it properly through good hands, bad hands, how to combo through hand traps. <laughs> It's a video you don't want to miss, so stay tuned to the end. It's going to be quite the long one. Very in-depth. Let's get straight into it. Let's go. This is the updated deck list. And before we get into the deck list and the amazing card choices, make sure to smash the subscribe button if it's your first time here. And if it's not your first time here, why aren't you guys subscribed yet? Make sure to follow as well. I want you guys to comment below if you want to see more Master Duel content. I love Pendulum. So as you guys watch these duels, the reason behind a lot of these cards are strictly the new meta. So you have to keep in mind that purely. Now, I don't think Droll is crazy against purely, but a lot of people are playing Droll. But since a lot of people are playing Droll, this deck hard loses to Droll. So you need to play Call by the Grave to stop that. However, when Call by the Grave is not used on Droll or Maxi, it's extremely low impact. It's a very low impact card. So called by is very cuttable, but if you get drolled, you lose. And if you get called by, uh, sorry, if you get drolled, you lose. If you get max seed, we have options to max seed. As you're going to see in this video, I put up like eight negates with like four draws, three draws. We play Underworld Goddess now. The reason why is it is kind of a purely format until the deck dies down uh, uh, in, in playing time. And Goddess is a card in the extra deck that could out the big noir. In later videos, I'm going to explain how to destroy purely as well. But you need to have some form of searchable way to stop the big noir. Just in case. Going into access code and uh, entering battle is not enough. Uh, you want something. So Underworld Goddess is plenty to stop that. And it's beautiful. It's royal. Nice. Uh, Mask Reina is how to play around Maxi. And I'm going to go quickly just explain the card super fast. I'm going to say the card name just so you guys can see. Yes, this deck is expensive. Yes, I know. They're all URs. If you guys want to see a budget version, let me know. I have a budget pendulum version, which is almost just three starter decks and just a few cards. Where... That's, even if you have if, as long as you have 2000 gems you could build a deck so that's the case let me know if you want to see that this is not a budget deck this is very expensive i'm gonna get straight into it though two souls one spell of prophecy three special servant of endymion three magical abductor two abyss actor curtain raiser one mythical beast jack king do not play cerberus cerberus sucks uh it conflicts a lot demon the mighty master of magic one reflection of endymion three upstart goblin three into the void one spell of secrets two bottle desires one spell of knowledge two engage one thing to keep in mind be careful to not banish all your high scales you only play three you could play magister but it's literally ass it's only there in case you get rid of the like it's a fourth master that sucks kind of engage is probably the best engine in this whole deck it's a draw plus a defensive card three mastery two talents two chicken game two called by one hornet one widow you play five cards that steal which is why you play zeus zeus is not here for absolute dragon you have to think of the meta and the meta is an xyz meta of kishtira and and um pearly so the idea going second now is you either steal the shangri-la with talents engage widow or you steal one of the rank twos or the zeus that your opponent has and then you simply enter battle and slap your own zeus you then use zeus effect clear the rest of the interruptions and then play freely with like four a few cards in your hand and just destroy them with pendulum vortex dragon absolute dragon zeus kagari artemis Crowley, Electromite, Mascarena, Dark Charmer, Beyond the Pendulum, Double Selene, Apoloza, Access, Under a Goddess. I do miss Cross Sheep. If I play Cross Sheep, you would need to play the third Selene if you play Cross Sheep. And there's a lot of cards we're testing here, like Mascarena and Goddess, specific for the format. Uh, so, and Zeus, specific to the format, I'll probably end up putting, putting back Cross Sheep and the third Selene. All right. Now that we went very in depth with that, let's show off seven duels. They should stay tuned to the end. Let's go. And best deck. It doesn't matter if you get Maxi. It doesn't matter what the scenario is. When there's a Servant of Endemia, when there's a Pendulum, there's a way. So we are going... I kind of ruined it. We did get hit with Maxi. I'm going to fast forward until we do. And this is going to show... And Ash, by the way. So this is Maxi. We are a, this is a great Ash. Because not only do we lose the knowledge, but we don't get a free monster in Blue Boy. We don't get a free spell counter in knowledge. So we lost a few stuff there. Nonetheless, we're playing the best deck, so it's fine. We're going to go Upstart Goblin. That's going to get Abductor. Here, I'm faced with a scenario where I could... Well, first, I'm going to use Servant. But then, let's say he saved the Ash for Servant. If he saved it, you get to resolve it again. That's an important trick. The biggest thing I want to say here before we start, this is for the, the noobs, actually. I got to say this. The way to play Pendulum properly. build it, This is the best way to play Pendulum, 100%. You need to get cards like Servant and Abductor and store spell counters on them. Don't activate Upstart. Don't activate Seekers. Don't activate it into the Void until you have Servant, Abductor in the scale. If you don't have it, use Mastery to search it. If you still don't have it, draw until you get them and get Servant to get Jackal on the field ASAP to protect all your plays. Spell counters is the way to win with this deck. He hits me with the Maxi here. 
Maxi and Ash Blossom. Most decks will crumble to this, but we're not most decks. Here we're going to get Endymion, the Mighty Master. We're going to go straight into Electromite, letting him draw. I don't care. Electromite effect will send Mighty another Mighty Master. Abductor effect will get another Mighty Master. I cannot uh, use Electromite to pop uh, Mighty Master. Add another Mighty Master. Get Econ. I scale that, and I use Desires. Uh, after This is what I have. I Talents. I look into his hand. He's playing a Thunder Pile deck, so I get rid of Solar. Then he has two Bist deals. He actually has four hand traps against me. Two Bist deals, Maxi and Ash Blossom. Won't be enough, my friend. And I don't want him to draw too much. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pen three. He's going to have six cards in hand after he draws. We dealt with Maxi, Ash, and we talents another card out of his hand. We know exactly what's in his hand. We have double Mighty Master, Jackal, and Econ. That's four interruptions. You're not beating that, bro. I know your exact hand. I got Max Seed, Ash Blossom, your double hand trap. We're not losing. So his way to win now is Protoss. So we're essentially just going to save our Econ until he summons Protoss. And we're going to save the rest of our interruptions for that. So be very no, like knowing of the meta. Because the when you activate Jackal or Master or Econ, it's very specific to what the meta is. So think of Purely as well. Let's say he's doing Purely. Dude, save your Jackal for that level one, dude. <laughs> that level, well, they're all level one. The level one uh, Pure Lily, the one that adds the continuous spell, must stop that. The dark one. The dark level one. It's a hard once per turn. The second that shit comes out, you negate it with Jackal instantly. If they're low on cards and they use a quick play spell, negate it with Master. Negate the continuous spell with Master if possible as well. That's how you use your negates properly. And uh, be careful for Zeus against that deck. And Kishtira, a lot of people think Pendulum has an issue with Kishtira uh, because it zone locks. By the way, so right, he's the second he summons Protoss because I know exactly what's in his hand. I just take that shit. Now nah, it goes back. It's irrelevant. I have full setup. He loses on my turn easily. So the way to defeat Kishtira, going, when you go first, you obliterated it. Obviously, just put up a fuck ton of negates. When you go second, people think, oh, I'm just going to lock your zone, Triff. You just auto lose. That's incorrect. Kashtira is not full power. Kashtira is very low impact, low power right now. They don't have field spell. They don't have a Kishtira, uh, the Kashtira extenders that are like Scareclaw Kashtira. They don't have a Rise Heart. What they do typically is they go Shangri-La, summon Fenrir in the standby phase. That's literally the typical thing. So the only way they could lock your scale is if Fenrir, if you activate a monster effect. So if you go Blue Boy, search secrets, buddy, he fucking knows you're playing Pendulum because you fucking summon Blue Boy. Fenrir effect, banish Blue Boy, effect of rise heart lock a scale you lose when you play like a chump like a chump like that you will lose but against kishtira the proper way and this is like a lot of tips in this video so stay tuned to the end the way to do it is just the second you go i don't know you're playing pendulum until it's too late very rarely do they go shangri-la and then uh shangri-la and then uh a diablosis very rarely could they do both they need four level sevens extenders but very rarely they could achieve that on turn one right away on turn one by then it's too late by then it's too late by then you're already playing two scales if they have birth set up don't activate upstart like if you go like spell power master research mighty master of course they'll trigger birth bandage mastery face down lock a scale the way you beat them going second is once they lock a scale sorry not lock a scale once they have an opportunity to lock something put pendulums in your scales as fast as humanly possible that's how you defeat kishtira and if they're blind uh, on one more thing if they're blind uh getting rid of one of your cards they're not blind getting rid of a scale they're blind getting rid of a main monster zone so because they're getting rid of a blind main main monster zone who gives a shit because you still have your scales so it doesn't hurt people as much as they think as you think once the field spell comes out and once uh it becomes more consistent and more kishtira cards come out and a rise heart comes out then it's a little different we'll play the deck accordingly i'll tell you how to defeat it when that time comes is a very special way but until that time comes don't worry until that time comes they're not locking shit play it normally but the second you have an opportunity like, look right now let's say i'm facing off against a rise heart and fenrir i'm not making kagari because if i go kagari add something he's gonna lock my other zone and i lose so you have to play it very accordingly to what the opponent has so here my kagari gets impermed which is another re reason i love the striker cards like he's forced to stop kagari otherwise i get engaged he loses and then you just play freely you're beyond the pendulum resolves your electromite resolves freely in this version is astrograph i cut astrograph in the final version uh because astrograph is is kind of a little bit win more when it resolves it's broken but but if it resolves that means electromite resolves and you already win if electromite resolves so it's a little bit win more and could potentially lead to some bricks here and there uh but you could put it in it's not bad because it's obviously the card you want to get electrum and then you pop mighty master so not bad it's decent to put in i do a cool play here where i go mighty master pop the electrum hold the gates and the Celine will be able to summon back a mighty master that i bring back to my hand i'm gonna do a lot of tips there's like seven duels i'm just gonna speak throughout it so you guys as much pendulum tips i could possibly think of off the top of my mind uh hero lives his ass is simply just not gonna be enough against this as you see these are unbreakable boards the only way to stop this is cards like dark ruler this is susceptible to dark ruler if you feel that now i play master rank quite often 
there's not many people are playing dark ruler it's not really worth it but what you could do play uh one draco slayer you play majesty pegasus made in the level four draco slayer which is a field spell you play that and you play one secret village what you do is you go electromite or beyond the pendulum to search it and then you just pen summon it and then you use that to search for uh the secret village discard whatever you don't care about actually secret village they can't use dark ruler and they can't use any spells so that's really good for going first but not going second two cards you don't necessarily want to see going second so because going first is such an auto win already and not enough people are playing cards like dark ruler to force you to play that and you already end on three four spell trap negates anyways so secret village ends up being redundant i wouldn't advise playing it but if you guys do want some dark ruler out that's a good way to do it uh, my opponent here is gonna do all this for like three negates it's just not, not gonna be enough he's playing some like rank seven kashtira stuff sure okay <laughs> as an ash i think so there's like savage baron ash so three real negates it just simply is not enough it's not enough so here i have six cards obviously we're just gonna destroy through this as i said don't randomly activate into the void don't randomly activate chicken game Make sure to get the Endymion card first that holds counters. Get Servant of Endymion. If you have Magical Abductor, get that. Get cards that hold counters and then use your counters. That's when Into the Void becomes insane. That's when Upstart becomes insane. Uh, with the amount of spells we play in this deck, Servant almost says freely just use Servant effect. Like the Servant basically says, imagine a spell card. That, I'm not kidding. Imagine this effect. Special summon, like a spell card. Special two monsters from your deck. One of them is a monster negate. That's what Servant of Endymion says. How could you not think this card's busted? When you build your deck around Servant and Abductor, it's next level. Servant literally says, like imagine a spell card said, special two monsters from your deck. One of them, by the way, negates a monster effect. That's what it says freely. Just activate three spells, which obviously that every hand does that. So what am I going to do in this scenario? I'm going to use chicken game to draw. I am thinking now, how do I want to bait him? I use Servant because that's a must negate. He must stop this specifically with Baron. He, but even better, he didn't have Ash, he had Ghost Ogre. This is even better than Ash. The Ghost Ogre, this gets off the field and I can't resolve this in later time. If it was Ashed, I guess use three more spells to resolve it again. Very nice on his end. I special Souls here and he stops Souls with Savage. Souls would have put in a lot of work because Souls would have get me this. Draw, get me a free monster and that stuff. Now all I got to do is just stop Baron. It's 2,000 life points thanks to him using all the, the extender cards. So this is instant game. I just need him to use his card soon. I summon Jackal. Like, this is just game. Actually, I just, actually, I normal Magician Souls. Normal Magician Souls use the effect, draw. It, this is literally, a, I win easily regardless of whether I drew something good or not. I just penned Jackal. I use Knowledge to draw with Souls. Anytime this game's over, I just use Talents to take. He'll negate. I negate the Baron with my Jackal. Uh, take the other attack for game. It's very easy. I had extra cards I didn't really need to do. Let's go to the next one. Another replay here. Just as many replays as you guys can actually see. I want you guys to see the combos with different hand setups. Uh, whether it's breaking boards like that one where we just like OTK easily versus three negates. Even if you had 8,000 life points, it was game. Like I didn't need to activate my Mighty Master. I didn't need to go into Electrum, any of that shit. When you're in simplified game states, you could play a lot freer. The, this ver These duels here, the last few ones don't have call by in it. I don't think call by is that good, guys. But if you're playing in like a tournament, for example, like DK's tournament, where I heard a lot of people play are, are playing Droll in their Pearly deck, you, you do got to have some way to stop Droll. Droll, Droll is a turn skip. Uh, it's ridiculously powerful and uh, you need some answer to it. So here I do a cool play. If you guys notice there, Hornet is not engaged. It's not going to draw you a card. However, it gets you two monsters on the field, special summoned and gets you two spell counters. So it allowed me to resolve my spell counter cards I want resolved. Additionally, could turn itself the token and Kagari into dark, which is a spell caster. So additionally, not only will Hornet give me two monsters, not only will it give me two spell counters, but additionally, it could turn into a spell caster in dark, which will all be free special summon without normal summoning, which could get me Crowley with any of my other spell caster extenders. Here he uses the imperm. And this is a classic way to bait interruptions. If he, doesn't if he stops the imperm, great. Now I just be on the pendulum. If he stops beyond the pendulum, I pen summon and then make Celine it's it doesn't like he stops that as well it doesn't matter it's inevitable i can't even talents either because he didn't use monster effects he's using imperm who cares it's inevitable double hand trap ain't doing shit inevitable summon astro search a mighty master this version plays astro it's a little win more but whatever then he just auto scoops this is full combo six negates through double imperm another replay here what i would advise guys Electromite can always go into Astrograph to get Mighty Master to kind of cheat code, get two level sevens pretty easily through Mighty Master with Selene and Astrograph. If you're very new to this deck, you could play uh, Astrograph if you like because it makes things easier. But look at this. Astrograph's bad right now. This is a, not good. 
This is not a good hand right now. This is not good. What do you see not good with it? Astrograph does not put itself on board unless I already have Electromite. This is why it's win more. Econ is only good going second. And to top all that off, I drew a second Magician Souls, which is another useless card. So I'm going balls to the wall here. I'm drawing two. What happens? Of Dr. Mastery. <laughs> when you play nice, the deck rewards you. And this is why it's so powerful playing. Like, imagine now you drew up upstart. You could have kept going, but we didn't. We have enough here. We're going to do a weird setup where instead of summoning Electromite first and summoning underneath the zones of Diagonal Link 2s, whether it's Beyond the Pendulum or Electromite, we're going to pen Astro and, Elec and Mighty Master here. Now, again, you're going to see Astro in some of these duels. This is my first version of the deck. Astrograph, I've, I've personally learned how to play without it. If you guys are a little new, you could just add Astrograph in the deck. If you like, old by as well is kind of like if you're new, you could keep it. But I've advanced to such a high level with the deck that I know how to play around hand traps very, very specifically. So I don't really need it. But if you guys want to keep those, uh, but yeah, th this deck just insane. We're gonna keep drawing here. These these spells would have been nicer earlier. Engage would have been nicer earlier. But hey, that's part of the game, right? Next, we're gonna go into Celine. This is how you always make sure you could summon this Mighty Master for free with Celine. Celine's eight counters. Special of Jackal. I set my engage. Mighty Master doesn't need to only pop your opponent cards. It, it could pop as long as it pops one card, it could summon. So I'm gonna use it to pop my engage because it's that's not resolving with the full board like this. I scale. I'm, it's, you're okay to lock your scales because Mighty Master will bounce one back always. Uh, and you're under Into the Void, so always remember about Into the Void is another trick. Into the Void is very amazing, but always remember that you're under it. Uh, and when Mighty Master comes out here, it could literally just bounce his abductor back. So whenever he activates a spell and Mighty Master negates it, it'll bounce his abductor. This way, I kind of save my reflection like that. So I have a low scale and I'm going to have abductor in hand. And through the shit hand, garbage hand, and an imperm, and garbage hand, we end on five negates. It's playing Tier Lament. He's going to lose. He's going to lose. Not enough. Make a little mistake there. Not negating the scream. All this and he's still going to lose, fellas. Or is he? I probably should have stopped the scream. So I recognize if you look at my hand, they, they, they're literally locked. My skills are locked. So maybe I should have stopped the first spell with Mighty Master for that purpose. Just to protect it as soon as humanly possible. Uh, this is going to be an incredible duel, actually. This You guys are going to want to watch this duel. This duel was amazing uh he goes as the unicorn he does me a favor sadly he's not doing me a favor sending snow to the grave but he does me a nice little favor getting rid of the abductor which is fair because if i draw any spell abductor could just search any endemian and i could trigger a reflection and save my scale like that so that's fair uh he's gonna go snow now uh he wants to go into uh, a play summons the snow books the oh he books the vortex because vortex could negate the schism his goal here is win or lose so he's going into window here i need a hot uh high scale badly he goes schism right away he flips it up because vortex can only negate an effect uh sorry vortex cannot negate the effect only the activation right away he's gonna go schism to get rid of the jackal this is good on him because uh it's it's just a good play because <laughs> jackal there uh was would be required for quite a few reasons if you look at my graveyard i still have beyond the pendulum so just by having that pendulum i could have gone into both beyond the pen also jackal could attack the window so now i am I, it all depends on my draw if i draw a high scale you could play nice i just enter battle kill window pen three win the game if i don't draw high scale i lose what do i draw now this scenario doesn't happen too often you still need to play into the void any card that says draw one for free you just have to play uh not enough darks for allure but any like if i could play 10 more upstar goblins i would happily best cards in this deck solid in this scenario into the voids uh conditions bad for us here so what do i do here i don't want that snow in the grave neither do i want to get rid of the wind so the wind stops him all i'm gonna do to just attack the unicorn i'm cool with that i have to hope he doesn't see a tier limit i still have a negate in vortex i have a negate in apoloza so let's see what he does he goes chisholm this is where he makes a big mistake actually he doesn't have any light and the last target he has to summon is uh construct so he has to actually banish his own snow so big mistake on his end to get rid of his own snow summons construct and he actually just helped me here so what he does he goes wind to attack the apoloza no problem i'm all right with that then he summons Co uh, constructs forced to use its effect yeah, it says at the start of damage this card battles a special monster destroy that monster mandatory I just fucking negate it with Vortex. <laughs> Not only do I negate it with Vortex, but I even put another high scale back into my deck for a higher chance of drawing a good card. So with Vortex, remember, you only have a finite number of, of resources of Endymions. So make sure to put back your high scales because uh, you don't have too many high scales. We destroy the Construct. Uh, can't do anything. Uh, he no luckily draws a Scream, but he's locked under his own window. Uh, able to search another Sheeran with that. Uh, lucky dude. Uh, my card is lowered. All right, now I'm faced with a choice. What am I going to draw here? Servant. Now, this is where the fun begins. I have a choice. I can enter battle. I can attack the window, right? 
I can attack the window. And then anytime I summon though, he could mill. So I think the best play here is attack the window, reflection and ser special reflection and servant in main phase. Let him mill with scream. Anything that gets milled, I just negate with vortex. Reflection, bounce servant, bounce whatever issue, even if there's a whatever, bounce something. Get servant, go beyond the pendulum, get a, high, a mighty master, scale servant, scale mighty master, summon jackal, summon uh, mighty master. Pop two, Mighty Master, pop the whole board, bunch of negates, pass. That's the play, but I do something much worse. I do something much, much, much worse. What do I do? I trigger Reflection. Why is this much worse? Because for some stupid reason, even, even the best players in the game makes mistakes. I bounce my own servant to bounce his window. Typically, this will be cool. Typically, I just saved an OTK. The reason why this is so stupid he just fucking should all shizzle. Literally summon it back and get rid of a dark in the process. That was the stupidest play of all time. He does use it prematurely and it triggers a scream. So my card is actually lower attack and time is of the essence. I'm low on time right now. So what do I do? Big brain play. Reflection of Endymion, crash the window, pretending I did that on purpose. Triggering the reflection to search an Endymion card, searching Mighty Master. Not only does this now get me a scale, because that's a hidden effect no one knows. When Reflection of Endymion has a counter and it's destroyed by battle, it searches an Endymion card from my deck. Similarly, when Endymion the Mighty Master has a counter and is destroyed by battle, it searches any spell from my deck. It's something to keep in mind that's very important. You can use this to basically search talents or engage in scenarios. So what do I do next? I kill the Sheeran. Uh, Winda still kind of bothers me. He's into the void because I could have finally use it as a draw. Curtain Razor just does not help me there. Now we're faced with a decision. I pen a Mighty Master and a Curtain Razor because I am under into the void. He uses this so he could have better draws because he's only 14 cards left in deck. I have a Mighty Master with a negate. Let's see how we can do this now. He is a Winda, which is still good because it stops him. Summon Sheeran. I was debating uh, negating the Sheeran. That'll then trigger Sheeran. That's something I don't really want. So I'd rather save the Vortex to negate a Tier Limit that gets milled. Tier Limit does not get milled. A Shadal Beast gets milled. So in this scenario, uh, I should negate the Shadal... Uh, well, he, he is Scream Beast. I should negate the Beast here for, so he doesn't draw. Because this Vortex will not be able to use a negate again. Uh, he mills three more, sending these three. Uh, he's already specialed with Shiren. So Wind actually locks him. I negate one of the cards with uh, Mighty Master. I could have stopped him from having that card in hand. And I'm left in this scenario... With Mighty Master Servant. He has a Winda and he has one card in hand. I draw Mighty Master. This game's like a crazy game. I attack the Shiren because I do not want Scream to ever trigger. Hell no, I do not want that Scream to trigger. Winda hurts him. So I'm cool with that. And what I, now he's going to do this so he has better draws, I guess. I don't really know what's set at this moment. So what do I do now? I just pass. Because if he activates the spell, my Mighty Master gets a scale. I didn't want to waste this. Go ahead. And of course, being the lucky shithead he is, he draws Rhino Heart. This duel's insane. You could tell I can't win this game. It's impossible. Or is it? Lucky shithead. It's actually an insane game. Let's kid Kalos. He's eight cards in deck. Somehow still has that. But he's still locked. He can't do too much with Kit. He destroys his own window, knowing that he's locked by his own card. Crazy grind game right now. He has Rhino Heart. All I need to win this game is Solyek and, and, and Rhino. All I need to win this game in the most absurd duel of all time is any... I have seven cards in deck. He has eight. Any spell card. If I get any spell, my servant has a counter, and then I could stop his Solyek and I win the game. And I can stop his scream. What do I draw? A chicken game. Let's fucking go. <laughs> what a draw. To get the spell counter and chicken game will draw me knowledge. Knowledge at the moment doesn't do too much for me. What am I going to do? I'm going to pen two. This Now, this is where the genius comes in. I'm going to use Reflection of Endymion targeting the servant, targeting specifically the Solyek. Why do I do this? Because the next play now, scream, no problem. Solyek, yeah. Mighty Master, negate. Bouncing the servant. So I could now normal summon the servant. I needed the servant back. I got the free negate with Mighty Master. I'm about to XYZ or link with his Mighty Master. So I wanted, needed the negate ASAP before I got rid of it. And that gets rid of, gets rid of the uh, Solyak so it doesn't negate. Sadly, let's hit a Havness. So now here's the big move. What's he going to end up doing? Search his Rhino for follow. This duel's insane. Uh, triggers the Havness, gets through Carlos. All right, now this gets crazy. I use Mighty Master. I'm on, I have about 10 seconds left right now on the timer, even less. I use the Mighty Master to crash into the real Carlos. Mighty Master, trigger effect, add talents. This is insane. Talents of the genius, dude. I crash my own Mighty Master to trigger the talents. Talents take the real Carlos. Normal Servant, take Selene. This is like literally five seconds right now. Selene, I somehow use this to pop everything. It's just, I have no time. I use, I, I want, I have two, legit one second. I just clicked one so I could summon it. Of course, I want to pop all four of his cards or two of his cards. I have one second on the timer right now. One second. All I have to do is just pop that and I win the game. I pop. I, I couldn't even trigger Servant. Sorry, I couldn't trigger Selene, the special souls, to draw from Chicken Game, draw from Knowledge, to go into Apollosa. I had one second on the timer. Somehow... 
When the timer showed zero seconds, I passed. So I still had, somehow I did it. And now look at this. Look at this. He has three cards left in deck. Look at this. He draw. He's two cards left in deck. He has two cards left in deck. Two cards left in deck. I couldn't pop my own chicken game either because of time. Super poly. Are you fucking kidding me? This was literally the craziest duel I've ever seen. You lucky shithead. If I just had one more second, I could have popped my own chicken game. I, I was so sad. And he knew what chicken game did. This was the most insane duel ever. I hate the timer. And I still won. <laughs> and I still won. This was probably the craziest duel ever. I wanted to save this for last week, like near the last. Yeah, so you guys can see this. This was, dude, this was the craziest duel probably of all time. This was fucking insane. I literally want, because in the same way, I had one second on my thing. He also had one second. He did a little too much there. He couldn't believe his own super poly, and I won. He literally had game on board. If he had two more seconds, he won. That was the most insane duel I've ever seen. Yo, you guys don't want to miss that. That shit was a uh, long video. Long video. Give me like a 30 plus minute video. I want you guys to see every single scenario with Pendulum. Because uh, at the end of this video, you guys should know a really good idea on how to play this deck and how powerful it is. So over here, this is going to be the second last duel we have. We're going to go Servant into Mastery. Always make sure to scale the Servant or the Abductor uh, or even normal the Abductor and start getting counters on the Abductor that way. Because the Abductor on the field gets souls. Uh, just make sure to do that. If you ever draw into Engage, it's okay. Literally just link into Electrum. Look, I literally have three cards in there right now. This is free like i'm gonna be drawing for free now i draw into the desires of all cards I go hornet uh what i could have done i probably should have actually used electromite a little earlier so it's a slight error by using electromite a little bit earlier i could have get abductor on the scale and then start using hornet and spells and shit to get more value but at this point i'm like i'd rather the safer play instead of drawing and getting free pluses with abductor reason why you're gonna see right now i'm gonna use electromite now to pop astro and my Field's gonna be full, so I won't be able to do it too freely. I'm gonna get the free draw and free Mighty Master. I have six cards in hand. I scale the abductor now. I actually link all three of my cards into Selene because I want to draw more more times with Engage, and the Kagari doesn't do much for me in that scenario. So get another free draw. Literally Pot of Greed and two free summons. Get Widow. Get Talents just in case he has something. Desires. I have 14 cards left in deck. This is just pendulum doing pendulum things trigger the mighty master pendulum my entire hand i make sure jackal if you notice this in case he had a nibiru he doesn't but my jackal always has selene on board with six counters even if he uses nibiru i could use jackal removing two counters from selene so nibiru doesn't do shit either no hand trap does anything but droll or maxi and then in this scenario uh this is where i do a slight risk if i want like you see that i could have gone cross sheep or something like that or like a, a apoloza right off the bat but i actually just make a generic link two for no reason because i always want to have some form of negate for nibiru even though he doesn't have anything just for like for argument's sake a vortex i then normal summon servant i then use selene effect from the top this is just a mega mega board uh to summon that to make apoloza from the bottom i then trigger the uh uh the mighty master popping a, a widow that won't resolve and then i have yeah he just scoops this is Apoloza, Selene Effect, Mighty Master, Jackal, Vortex, another Mighty Master, and Enemy Controller. That's eight negates. No one's he has, literally has his cards in hand. Last replay here on rank to show you guys really how to play Pendulum inside and out. And we have a bunch of replays already. I know after this, I think you guys will get a really solid idea on how to play. Uh, on stream, I noticed a lot of people don't really know what they're doing. So this is important that you guys see. So always make sure to get uh, Servant and Mastery out first before you start activating spells. Make sure to get Servant, Abductor, or Mastery out there. So Mastery gets the Servant and then put this down there. Those nine cards are how you win the game. And if you don't have it already, try and draw into it with your like 20 draw cards. This is how you take so much advantage. And this is how you properly play Pendulum on Master Duel. Uh, yeah. So next we're gonna go to Secrets into Blue Boy. We're gonna Knowledge away the Blue Boy from our hand. Storing counters on our Servant freely. Next, I'm gonna activate the Chicken Game uh, to uh, draw. I get Desires. I'm gonna Resolve Servant and he's gonna go into Max C. Now this is where Pendulum has always had a somewhat of an issue where you get max seed. I have no answer really. This is just the only way I could do this. Maxi's maxi, but this is the best way to play around maxi. I'm gonna go servant and go into jackal. Next, I'm gonna go abductor and desires. You wanna see what you banish off desires. Pretty good, nothing crazy. You don't wanna banish too many of the ne actual negates. And the game plan now, the goal is you wanna put up as as little amount of draws with the most possible negates so you don't want to go absolute vortex draw sheep draw seven draw seven ten times pen summon maybe like a little electromite at most just because it's going to get like any summon you do has to have a purpose of negates against maxi when you're not under maxi you could 
play you can summon 20 times if you want who gives a shit if you're playing pendulum you can summon 30 times but under max c you have to be very careful with what you summon so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna go a doctor to search mighty master and i do a bit of a risky play i play into nibiru here i pen summon first because i oh, i need my jackal to have some counters so i basically pen summon i go mascarena jackal master not electrum go mascarena because mascarena is how you play around max c you make sure that you basically mascarena your whole field away that way your widow anchor so you have like a three to four material apeloza and your widow anchors live and your master resolves and your jackal resolves and now we're gonna talents this way my jackal gets counters i see every single card he has except for the card he just return and he only has seven cards in hand right now I'm look into his hand this is what he's playing heroes he kind of bricked so we're definitely gonna get rid of the rota i see valor this, look if i went to electromite and he valored i lost my max my masquerina and widow anchor interruptions for nothing so nice hand trap deck Valor's dead maxi's dead called by and cross out do nothing against pendulum four cards are done four cards are done so all we got to worry about is ferris mass change and rota clearly you just get rid of rota here and any way he gets to a hero we stop it and if he just resolves ferris we negate it gg if he resolves ferris sending shadow mist you go jackal negate ferris chain masquerina apeloza apeloza negate shadow mist scoop so this game is now over and through max c now he's gonna have seven cards for turn when he draws I'm gonna have Jackal, I'm gonna have Master, I'm gonna have Mascarena for three with Apeloza, that's five. All three effects of Apeloza will resolve because when they enter battle, I just Widow Anchor take. Then we have Negate Effect and Steal, so six interruptions, and they're all really big. He goes Max C, just so I can't Mascarena. And he goes Hero Lives, that's what he draws for turn. That's just getting negated, obviously. And that's just absolute game. Also, he, he didn't really know what Chicken Game did. Welcome to Master Duel. That's a 7-3 play. I'm gonna do a little explanation for you guys. Again, this is the deck. This is the updated deck that we're playing with the specific meta. Called by is iffy. It's not the best card in the world. It's not. It's low impact. It's not a high impact card. But the only way you lose is Droll and Maxi. And Droll seeing a little more play. Uh, you could remove Droll freely if you like. No problem. Cross Sheep is decent. You could put in, but not really. This is perfect as it should be uh you already saw the deck list at the beginning make sure to play this how it is called by is iffy and that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys in the next video make sure to smash the subscribe button, the like button comment below if you want to see more master videos of you guys check out trifgaming.com as well see you guys in the next video peace